We all know what song it is, right? It's about Kartini's struggle for women's education. So here, I will tell you Kartini's inspiring story. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Eva Alicia Febiati, and you can call me Alice, and I'm from Language class 2019 of Senior High School 1, Purwasari. Well, let's begin this wonderful story. Raden Ajun Kartini came from Japanese aristocracy. She was a daughter from Raden Mas Adipati Ariyoso Sraningrat, a region of Jepara, and her mother was Mas Ayu Nasira. When she was 12 years old, Kartini was sent to Europe's lecture school, and she learned Dutch there. However, after graduating, Kartini wasn't allowed to continue her education by her parents. Today is your time to become Raden Ayu. Are you able? I'm sorry, Father, but I have something to ask for you. Yes, my dear. What do you want to ask? I'm sorry, Father. I still want to go to school. I still want to learn. No, you are now 12 years old. And it's time for you to do seclusion. And you must follow the rule. She was isolated while waiting the time to get married. Little Kartini was very sad about that. I have to fix my life. At least, other women do suffer like me. And I think I should start it by writing. Then, she collected various books. She also taught herself and wrote letters to her correspondent friends from the Netherlands. She wanted to make a better life for the miserable women around her. Because of her strong determination, Kartini proposed some requests to her father. My father, I accept the marriage, but I have some requests for my future husband. What is your request, Kartini? First, on the wedding, I refuse to clean Kanjung Raden Mas Joyo Adinirat's feet. Second, I refuse to come with, with complicated manners. I just want to be treated like an ordinary person. Third, I require my future husband to help me with the school for women and the poor. All right, now write down your requirements for your future husband. The request was accepted. So Kartini was willing to marry Kanjing Radimas Joya Adindura a region of Remba. After the wedding, Kartini was supported to build a school for women on the poor. Sadly, the great Kartini passed away after giving birth to her son. As a dedication to Kartini, her letters were collected into a book. It was entitled as Habis Gelap Terbitlah Terang in Bahasa Indonesia. Then, President Sukarno made Kartini's birthday as a Kartini's day. 
Because of her struggle, now women have the same rights for education. Kartini didn't struggle with weapons, but she used her mind. I think that's all about Kartini's story. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.